Hi, this is Noah with Sterilizer Autoclave Solutions. In this video, we'd like to go in depth on how to service a Cycle Fault 3 error on the Statum 5000. If a Cycle Fault 3 occurs, it means that the cassette has failed to pressurize and achieve a temperature of 110 degrees Celsius within a timeout period. In this case, there are a few options that you, the end user, have. Firstly, check for visible steam leaks from the cassette. If the cassette is leaking, repair is needed. You can replace the cassette seal, lid, or tray. We also have videos available on our YouTube channel for the replacement of the cassette parts like the seal and tray using the links in the description. If there are no visible leaks, then the next step would be to disassemble the solenoid valve and check for debris or the plunger sticking in the plunger tube. To disassemble the solenoid valve, a service technician would have to remove the top cover of the Statum 5000 to reach the solenoid valve. We have videos available on our YouTube channel using the links in the description on removing the top cover of the Statum 5000. If a service technician removes the solenoid valve, a wrench and pliers are required to properly remove it. A spanner wrench can also be used to remove the solenoid valve. This specific spanner wrench, the Statum Double-Ended Spanner Wrench, is actually available to purchase directly from our website using the link in the description. When looking at the solenoid valve to get to the plunger stem, you'll have to remove the solenoid housing on top. To do this, first take your wrench and unscrew the nut holding the solenoid from the top. Once it's loosened, you can remove it by hand twisting it. Then, pull the solenoid housing off and you'll be left with the plunger shaft. The plunger shaft can be removed by placing the pliers right below the threads of the bolt and twisting it off. Or, you can use the spanner wrench mentioned before to remove the shaft by aligning the two pegs of the spanner wrench with the holes of the plunger shaft and unscrewing it that way. Once the plunger is disassembled, check for anything impacting the plunger shaft or the socket you unscrewed it from. And, you can further disassemble the plunger to more thoroughly clean it. Remove any loose debris, hair, scraps, or any obstruction as needed. Once the plunger and socket are free of obstructions, reassemble the plunger if needed and screw it back in and lightly tighten it with the pliers or spanner wrench, but be careful not to over tighten it. If the problem persists even after checking the solenoid valve, then it could be an issue with lack of constant power to the solenoid or a leaking pressure relief valve. However, these fixes, like the solenoid valve disassembly, are meant for a service or field technician and not the end user. So if the problem persists, the end user will have to call in and have the unit serviced by a technician. Thankfully, SAS can help you with that by calling into our free tech support line at 704-966-1650, option 3. You'll hear from a technician in a moment's notice with the proper knowledge to walk you through your available options. If you have any other questions about the Statum cycle faults, your Statum 5000, or anything autoclaves, give us a call at 704-966-1650. We also have a Statum playlist on our YouTube channel available for all things Statum. You can find that using the link in the description. And if there's anything you'd like to see from us, leave a suggestion in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.